Green Energy The Dual Turbine Vertical Axis Wind Power Model This innovative wind power model that I developed is equipped with active blade control, a groundbreaking technology that was developed to optimize aerodynamic efficiency. Use the cam and cam follower mechanisms to dynamically adjust the blade angle. In this video, you'll see the potential of this model. The most difficult part of this project has been to develop a mechanism that can periodically adjust the angle of the blade. To operate smoothly, the cylindrical cam and the spherical cam follower were adopted. Traditional horizontal axis wind turbines often fail and are expensive to repair. The most commonly used horizontal axis wind turbine blades align perpendicularly to the wind direction and their rotation. Therefore, this design has notable drawbacks. Not all of the wind energy is converted into torque. The remaining energy applies wind pressure to the system, which can lead to structural damage. Therefore, the following mechanisms of wind power generators were designed to maximize the driving torque of wind turbines. This design minimizes wind resistance in the drag direction while maximizing pressure in the driving direction, ensuring optimal efficiency. In order to achieve this goal, the mechanical properties of the following conditions were required. Curved blades, cylindrical cam, and followers. Additionally, it also requires flexible cam followers and round cam trails for smooth operation. In addition, this model has a blade pitch control mechanism that maximizes torque efficiency by moving the central axle up and down. This is a blade control housing internal view and cams and cam followers engaged inside the housings. This is the top view of a dual turbine with 10 blades. All right, let's see how the cam and cam follower work inside this system. The inclination of the cylindrical cam was carefully determined to reduce impact and vibration. This is a lower profile of the system and it has generators and yaw control parts. Many parts were manufactured, including two cylindrical cams and followers, etc. In addition, the parts are anodized to increase their durability. These parts are bearings and lockers also anodized. These parts are spherical cam followers and generator, etc. These parts are cam housings and main tower supporters. This is the process of assembling the system, and the base body has already been assembled. Processing and assembling the cam took a considerable amount of money, time, and effort. The first and second layer cam housings are assembled now. This is a final assembly without a blade installed. All right, let's test this pilot system. It was tested indoors and all functions worked properly. This model placed the permanent magnet generator position on top of the system so that there was no problem with maintenance. 
If the permanent magnet generator is placed between the blade layers, it is difficult to repair. This is a triple blade installed model. I don't recommend installing any more blades because the left and right balance is out of place. This is an improved model that allows each blade to rotate in reverse with each other to increase the stability of the system. In addition, the permanent magnet generator was placed in the middle to increase functionality and facilitate airflow. This model is for large-scale wind turbines and it's very useful in many ways. The picture shown in left is the Enercon E126 model. Hub height is 135 meters, rotor diameter is 126 meters, total height is 198 meters, and the power output is 7 megawatts. This giant Enercon 7 megawatts model can't install more than three blades, so land utilization is low. But if we apply the vertical axis wind turbine technology I developed to this, the results will be different. The characteristic of this model is that high efficiency is expected because the circumferential speeds of the generator rotate with each other and are twice as high as the conventional gearless model. And since the rotation direction of the blade is horizontal, the main tower does not have to be very high. And above all, a multi-layered turbine can be installed in one main tower, so high output can be obtained. Wind float platform generation systems enable continuous power generation with stable air volume, but the model shown in the picture appears structurally unstable. Therefore, I made this single unit of the Pentagon float wind farm system. These units can be connected to each other to form a large wind farm. As you can see in this photo, if we apply the model I developed to this wind farm, we can make a huge wind farm and by changing the height of each unit, we can increase the efficiency without blocking the flow of air. This is a two-way tidal power platform and the next video content will be produced on this. Thank you for your watching.